Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Tech. So in front of me guys, I've got six of the most powerful Android phones out on the market right now. Of course, there's one phone missing, which is the Red Magic 8 Pro. Hopefully I can get my hands on one soon and I'll be featuring it on the channel once I get my hands on it. But in this case, I'm going to be testing six Android phones. So starting from the left, I've got the S22 Ultra, the Black Shark 5 Pro, the Red Magic 7 Pro, the latest and greatest from Samsung, which is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the ROG Phone 6, and the Red Magic 7S Pro. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get this intense benchmark test going. So before I begin, here are some key specs for the phone. So for the S22 Ultra, this has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. It has 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. The phone with the lowest RAM and storage here is the Black Shark 5 Pro. It only has 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. The phone with the most RAM here is the Red Magic 7 Pro. I've only managed to get the 16 GB of RAM version with the 256 GB of storage. The S23 Ultra here has the most storage. On the other hand, it has 12 GB of RAM with 512 GB of UFS 4.0 storage. The ROG Phone 6 has the standard 12 GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 256 GB of UFS 3.1 storage. And last on the list is the Red Magic 7S Pro which also carries the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. It has 12 GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 256 GB of UFS 3.1 storage. Now I've set all of these phones to their maximum refresh rates. 120Hz for the two Red Magic phones as well as the two uh, Galaxy phones. 144Hz on the Black Shark 5 Pro as well as the ROG Phone 6. So in terms of testing guys, I'm going to be running the usual Antutu benchmark and we'll see which of these phones actually perform the best. Then I'm going to be doing a quick wildlife extreme test, not the stress test. I'm going to be uh, saving that for the throttling test for these phones. And finally a quick Geekbench test to see the CPU performance of all these phones. Okay, so starting a quick and to do benchmark test between six powerful Android phones and starting it in three, two, one. Alright guys, so here are the results and very pleasantly surprised, the S23 Ultra wins it with a score of 1,229,722. Followed by the ROG Phone 6 with a very impressive 1,116,912. In third place, we've got the Red Magic 7S Pro, 1,083,465. Followed by the Red Magic 7 Pro with also beating the 1 million mark at 1,022,439. Black Shark 5 Pro not too far behind, 998,945. And in last place, we've got the S22 Ultra with a score of 8. 175,605. The phone that got the hottest was the Black Shark 5 Pro at 45.2 degrees, followed by the Red Magic 7 Pro with a temperature of 39.6, then the S22 Ultra with a 39.1 degrees Celsius temperature, followed by the S22 Ultra. It got a bit hot at 37.7, but not too hot. It's not hitting 40 degrees, which is good. 35.7 on the Red Magic 7S Pro, and really impressed with the ROG Phone 6. Take note, guys, the ROG Phone 6 doesn't have an internal fan. For it to be actually hitting that high. Uh, score and then having one of the lowest temperature among all these phones is very impressive in and of itself 
and you all know guys that the rg phone 6 has the new aero active cooler 6 so you can turn on x mode plus and that's going to increase the score by a lot because now you've got a proper cooling fan attached to your rg phone 6. Alright guys, so going on to the next test, which is the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme. So starting the test in 3, 2, 1. So here are the score guys, are pretty interesting. Again, very impressive showing from the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with an overall score of 3,781. Followed by the ROG Phone 6 with 2,827. Red Magic 7S Pro, 2,817. So neck and neck with the two Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 carrying chips. 2,613 on the Red Magic 7 Pro. 2,618 on the Black Shark 5 Pro. So even though it has lower RAM and lower storage, it actually beat out the Red Magic 7 Pro and the S22 Ultra which has the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip actually scoring a lot lower with a score of 2034. It's looking like the S22 Ultra is having some problems keeping up with the other Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chips. But in the case of the S23 Ultra, Samsung did its homework and is actually doing a lot better in terms of gaming performance. So in terms of the temperature guys, the RG phone and the Red Magic 7 Pro did very well in the temperature department, 35 degrees, but it's actually beaten out by the S23 Ultra, which remain at a very frosty 34 degrees Celsius, followed by the 37 degrees on the S22 Ultra, 38 on the Red Magic 7 Pro, and continuing with the very poor performance in terms of thermals is the Black Shark 5 Pro, which still hit a very hot 45 degrees Celsius. Alright guys, so for the final test of the day, which is Geekbench 6, let's start the test in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so here are the scores. Um, pretty interesting results here guys. But as expected, the S23 Ultra actually won both the single core score and the multi-core score with a single core score of 1893, multi-core score 4990. 
So let's discuss the single core score first. So next is the Red Magic 7 Pro with 1713, followed by the Black Shark 5 Pro 1577, RG Phone 6 1409, S22 Ultra 1401, and a pretty disappointing 1093 on the Red Magic 7S Pro. Though, what's interesting here, guys, even though the single core score is pretty low on the 7S Pro, it actually uh, managed to breach the 4000 score for the multi core score. It manages to get the second place with 414. Four, four, followed by the RG Phone 6 3988, then the Red Magic 7 Pro at 3816, 3589 on the Black Shark 5 Pro, and 3335 on the S22 Ultra. So, I guess you can see here, guys, the S23 Ultra is actually the big winner, and the S22 Ultra is the big loser. So, that's telling me that there's a huge leap in uh, performance improvement between the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. So, if you're after performance, guys, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with going for the S23 Ultra. So I guess I'll wrap up this quick benchmark roundup between six powerful Android phones. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of scores you're getting on these devices and I would love to discuss it further. But just a reminder guys, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I'm going to be doing a series of gaming tests between these same uh, six Android phones and hopefully the Red Magic 8 Pro once I get my hands on it and we'll see which one actually performs the best in real world usage. Because right now I'm doing synthetic tests, benchmarks don't actually tell you the whole story. It's actually when you start playing games and even graphics heavy games such as Genshin Impact where you're going to get a good feel of how well these phones are going to perform. So you're going to be seeing if you're going to be getting frame drops or if you're going to be getting a lot of stuttering and we'll see how hot each of these phones get in those intense gaming sessions. But until then, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.